Dinosaurs have a lot of bizarre structures that come from their body, sometimes from the skull, sometimes from the back, sometimes from the tail. There's horned dinosaurs with large crests and horns. There's duck-billed dinosaurs, also with long crests and bizarre beaks. These structures were generally regarded by early paleontologists as being weapons, that is, weapons of defense. Paleontologists started looking at these structures a little differently over the last 10 or 20 years. For instance, the horned dinosaurs have big horns on the top of their head and a big neck frill that goes out and covers the entire neck. So what they first hypothesized was that this neck frill was actually a shield for the neck of the animal that kept a predator like Tyrannosaurus from biting down on their neck. A lot of modern animals also have a lot of cranial structures. They have crests and horns and frills, a lot of times looking very much like the dinosaurs had. They're not using these structures for defense. They're using them for other things, for getting themselves a mate or for fighting for territories. We observe these kind of behaviors and we can use that as an analogy that we can then draw back into the fossil record and interpret some of the structures that we see on dinosaurs. and thrusting horns are formidable weapons. This mother is going to defend her fawn, come what may. but most likely used them like this. Flicking its head to gore its attacker. Potentially lethal.